New York City and Los Angeles are two of the most competitive real estate markets in the world. And they've got amazing properties to back it up. You have the entire city view. This is the money shot. Over the next hour, we'll crisscross the country, visiting the most extravagant properties ever seen on TV. Can't have a townhouse without an elevator. Absolutely. From LA's multi-million dollar estates, to Manhattan's luxury penthouses. The apartment has a lot of wow factor. Get an up close and personal look inside these one of a kind homes. It doesn't matter how much it costs, you want it. As the stars of Selling New York and Selling LA reveal the best place, the best place, the best place, the best place I ever sold. Coming up, we go high into the Hollywood Hills and out to the California desert. I have never seen a property like this in Los Angeles. It's amazing. Los Angeles is one of America's most dynamic real estate markets. Millions of dollars in deals are done on a daily basis throughout this sprawling Southern California city. Surrounded by mountains in the north, beaches to the west, and deserts to the east, LA's architecture is as diverse as the landscape and the agents at Keller Williams Beverly Hills sell them all. We've got the pool table here. There's three monitors across there so you can watch TV. Wow. Oh, David, isn't this beautiful? It is gorgeous, isn't it? We have 225 agents currently working at Keller Williams Beverly Hills. Do you have a buyer? Every agent has a different focus with different specialties. One might work on high end, one might do lost downtown, while another may do beach properties. And in eight years, we have grown to now selling over $800 million in real estate a year. David Bailey has sold some of LA's most stylish and historically significant properties over the past 30 years. You've got to see this kitchen. It is state of the art. Amassing millions of dollars in sales in some of LA's most exclusive oh, neighborhoods. So it's really, really nice. The best place I ever sold sits on a half acre lot in the Truesdale Estate area of Beverly Hills. As soon as I saw this property, I knew this was my client's property. This one-story home was just over 5,000 square feet of living space when the homeowners bought it in 2006. Historical and architecturally significant homes are my bread and butter. The property was originally built in 1962 for Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's. My client, who is a legend in the health food industry, came to me and was searching for his dream property. And we thoroughly went through his wish list. We then proceeded to spend two years looking at properties, and sure enough, nothing filled his needs. Then all of a sudden, the Ray Kroc estate came on the market. After explaining to him the potential the property had, he respected the original architecture while expanding the house and bringing it up to today's standards. And I'm sure glad he did. Recently, the property adjacent to this home came on the market. David's client bought it, knocked down the dividing wall between the two properties, and turned the new home into a guest house. The side benefit of buying the adjacent property was it allowed him to open up the back of the property so the views are now unparalleled. This particular property gives me great satisfaction because the property is now a one-of-a-kind landmark estate.